Hey, what's up? How's it going? Welcome back to uh, Naptime Builder. I uh, hope everybody had a happy and safe 4th of July. But uh, during this video, pretty much just going to be tearing this Corvette down, stripping it down so I can get rid of it. And then hopefully soon I can get my dad's Firebird here and start tearing it apart and be able to put this motor in there. Right now this is Right now, this is basically what we got. I still need to tear them seats out of it. But. Other than that, that's about it. these first two undone. I've got to figure out how in the world to get the back two bolts. up under there. Hopefully nothing alive anyways. It looks like what I might have to do is just unbolt it from the rails one, two, three, and four. And then put them bottom. Then maybe I'll be able to get to the bottom where you'll set that. Let's we'll see how that goes. What's up and how's it going everybody? Uh, day two of basically just tearing apart and destroying this Corvette. Um, I didn't get as much done yesterday as I would have liked. Uh, my wife's birthday's coming up so you know I baked her a cake and last night I took her out to eat. And all that good stuff so now today we're gonna spend a few hours just tearing stuff apart seeing what I can fit in a garbage can basically. So let's get it. Well, like 40, 45 minutes to get that windshield out. I didn't really want to 
busted in the car like I did, but I was throwing it away anyways, so I didn't want to waste too much time. Then I still ended up spending 40, 45 minutes just getting a windshield out. Well, then I vacuumed up the majority of it. That way, hopefully, I don't slash myself open while cutting the rest of this car up. But uh, just a few seconds to y'all is 45 minutes for me, so sounds fair, right? <laughs> now I'm probably about to cut the top or probably cut the top off of it now. As you can see, she's topless now. Still a little bit of glass that didn't come loose too good for her. This thing is nasty. It's been rained in for years because that back glass has been busted out from the wreck. I don't know how the seats are in as good shape as they are. This back here has been holding water and everything. But, I'm about to do a little sweep up, try to get some more of this glass up. I'm probably gonna call it a day. Then we can get ready for work. So let's go. All right, well, that's about it for the day. Uh, I'm burning up. It is hot here in North Alabama today and for the past couple of weeks, really. I'm just surprised it ain't storming right now because that's been the norm here lately. But uh, that's about it for the day. Uh, I might not be able to do anything tomorrow because it's wife's birthday. But uh, after that, I'll probably get to Tearing apart this front fire, this firewall here. See what I want to save of that wiring harness and computer and all. And other than that, try to find a place to put the rest of this that gum car. Well, that's it for today. We'll catch y'all later. Hey, what's up? It's been a couple days since uh, I've been cutting this apart, but uh, we were celebrating the wife's birthday and, you know, me having to work and everything. So, uh, I guess let's get after it. I guess another day, another body panel to cut up and get rid of. I'm so ready for this Corvette to be out of the way and I dread removing the motor from the Firebird and putting the other one in, but I'm so ready to get that car going. That way I'm done with this part. That way maybe I can actually get back to my own builds. But, uh, it's, it's a win-win. I mean, it's better. I'm better off in the long run this way, but, man. All right, let's see what we can get done. chopped up and all of my Ryobi batteries are dead and 
I've only got a couple cutting discs left. I guess I could take some of this stuff off this firewall. And possibly just clean up. I guess the firewall stuff it is. All right, well, I got all the doors, pieces, and all that crap picked up. Garbage cans are full, like I said, so I had to put a couple of things in the back of the truck into the garbage runs just to get out of my way because I ain't got no room up in this small carport. But I got a little bit of room to work here, and now I guess I'm going to work on pulling all this crap off the front of this firewall. See how far I can get before I need to get ready for work. I really hate this. This is the second time I've done this because I've done it with my 65 CJ5 project. I absolutely hate the part of cutting the vehicle up and trying to get rid of it. At least when I was cutting that 85 Ranger up, you know, it was metal, so I could take it off for of scrap metal. I got a little bit of money back, so I was getting something for it. All this daggum fiberglass, all I can do is throw it in the trash can. It, it sucks and it's very time consuming so it'd be best if it was metal that way I could at least get a little bit back off of it but I don't know parts wise I got my money's well over my money's worth out of this car I just now need the car gone that way I can get that firebird in here and start tearing the motor out of it so I'm really dreading it because everything I've seen says that you know, take the motor and trans out from the bottom. I ain't never done that. So, seems a little sketchy to me seeing how I don't have a lift. But, I don't know. People do it in their driveways and their garage all the time without one. So, I guess we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But right now, I just got to continue thrashing on getting this Corvette apart and out of here and out of my way. So, I'm about to tear this firewall apart. Cue another time lapse. All right, well, once again, that's it for the day. I don't, you know, nap times and a couple hours before work when I'm on night shift is about all I get at a time. So most of my videos is gonna be multiple days. I rarely have more than say two or three hours to do stuff. So I gotta get done what I can get done when I can get it done. So. But uh, I got most of the stuff tore off the firewall, and I just hacked the wires at the firewall because I'm mostly just worried about the connectors and stuff on the in the engine bay in case I break one while tearing Dad's car apart. So, but she stripped mostly down in the front here, anyways. There's a couple other things. I got bolts on the inside that I'll worry about that when I get to it. But uh, I'm about to hurry up and get ready. That way I can go see my kids for a few minutes before I have to head off to work. But uh, I'll get back at this as soon as I can. You know, hopefully my garbage cans are empty soon. That's it. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Um, it's been a few days since I've been able to do anything tearing this Corvette apart so been helping my dad do some metal siding on his house and today we just spent most of the day going to Tennessee and seeing my father-in-law for a couple of, for a little bit so and that's a two-hour trip one way so you know that takes up pretty much most of the day so I guess I'm gonna try to tear some more of this up apart and
be so glad to get this out of the way, but every time I start making a little bit of progress, something else comes up, you know, the normal. That happens all the time, so. Let's see if we can get anything done. Well, I believe I'm done for the day. I've got inside pretty much stripped of the <clears throat> steering column. And, uh, and I also took that gas tank and that uh, rear support. That's it, something mounts to off the back i think it's a lot of gas in it and it smells freaking horrible it's old as everything it is ridiculous and for some reason one of the lines still had a little pressure in it and squirted up and got my dumb self in the daggum face so now i'm a so now my face is a little red and burning. <laughs> Dummy had his safety glasses up on top of his head and not on his eyes where they should have been. So, but after that, I believe I'm done for the day. And that wasp back there is done. He set out to get me. So we're just going to, it's about time for me to quit anyways. We're just going to let him win today. Tired of messing with him. But uh, I pretty much got everything that I can get out. And my next step will pretty much just be cutting this thing up as much as I can. I'm about to have to make a run to Home Depot, which my kids love Home Depot, so that works out. I gotta get some cutting disc and maybe some Sawzall blades, who knows and some roundup from other property. <laughs> but uh, that's it for today. This, I know this is gonna be like the most boring video ever because who really wants to watch somebody cut up a daggum car, but unfortunately that's some of the downfalls that comes with messing with crap like this. It'd be nice if it was about anything other than a Corvette because then I could just cut it up and pile it on the trailer and sell it for scrap and it'd go a whole lot faster but when we just been up the old way a little bit at a time it it just the cards ain't in my favor as i guess you could say but uh that's it for today and i won't be able to work on it tomorrow because it'll be wife wants to go uh well i'll be helping my dad with some more metal side in his house and then my wife wants to go kayaking for her birthday so what day Sunday? We went to church this morning. So, hopefully Tuesday afternoon I'll be able to mess with it some more. <laughs> All right.